Hi hi, welcome back guys. As you can see in the background currently, um, this Monday, which means yesterday, hopefully if I, if I post this video today, um, I did get my A badge. Um, yeah, so if you watched the previous few videos, I didn't really try for it or anything because it would be quite ironic when I just made a video about why badges um, kind of create this toxic environment in the game. But anyways, as I said in those videos, um, one of my friends who usually invites me to play Survivor, who I play Survivor rank with um, basically every day, uh, had to leave and I didn't really um, play Survivor then. So I just, you know, needed the essence, I needed the dice for the, the Joseph skin, the S skin, um, in hopes of getting it for free. So um, I just kind of went um, Hunter rank. And well, it resulted in an A badge. So yeah, I didn't really try for it or anything. I I just kind of you know like got it whatever. But now I can tell you guys that I have an A badge. I'm valid again. Yay. Um. Anyways, uh, here is a match that I didn't really want to save. It was nothing special. It was just a basic match, a basic rank match really. But oh my god, like at the I believe it was the journalist player. I don't know, we will see at the end of the video because I um attached the, the screenshot of the thingy. So I don't know why like look at this. Like I get the A badge and people are already being mad at me. Like they told me to leave rank survivor. Um yeah I I mean I get being annoyed after not winning a match but this match wasn't the last one in the session so it's not like you needed the points and and that was the last match you could go and you couldn't fix it so i don't really get why um but this is kind of ridiculous you know that the moment like the day i i get into top 100 i already get these toxic survivors and the toxic players um to play against they didn't really do anything in the match like as much as i could tell um, I really got lucky here early game because uh, thankfully they kind of um, were on the same place and I could have full presence like basically the first like photo word which is very an ideal situation and oh we have King Joseph beautiful King Joseph with the gorgeous little romantic accessory but anyways I did decide to hit journalist only once because she was the rescuer and I wanted her to be unhealable as there was thankfully no doctor in the team because oh my god I met yesterday I met so many doctors but anyways I found little girl here but I see as you can see next to tinnitus there's a little sign I talked about it a million times it's basically the no survivor street which lets you know if there is an incapacitated um, survivor nearby so i knew acrobat was here uh in somewhere so i just you know wanted little girl to kind of leave the area so my jump card would lead me to acrobat so thankfully after the lucky early game i could instantly manage to um cherry someone which is very very lucky i knew little girl was here i knew um the rescue were would be her because the other two are not really in a position to save right now but yeah i still took a picture i decided to you know the camera was close to the chair it wasn't really a big risk and i tried to look around and little girl sure enough arrived i tried to stall a bit so um she could save after half but sadly um no like sadly for her yeah i did manage in the very last second i could stop her from saving before half so acrobat was on his last chair would be so i made sure nobody rescued his mirror and chaired little girl because as jojo you can't really like if i went after acrobat and he would be like a great kiter then like i could have lost this match just because i went after him instead of chairing someone when every teammate is injured so nobody can save and i knew that so with joseph you can't really tunnel people unless they are like no kiting ability and acrobat is well, arguably is the best kiter currently, like um, pro players are saying he's like the best kiter currently um, in the survivor, like characters among the survivor characters. So I didn't really want to tunnel someone like that, but I knew like he was on his last chair. And once I managed to catch up to him, then he will be eliminated soon. So yeah, here actually, that was very nice. Um, thankfully, she placed her doll kind of uh, far away from the chair, so I managed to double hit the you know like I, I managed to get also a hit off of her 
and uh, the doll as well and as you see me again i'm not going after the little girl i know she has probably like three pages which is quite annoying um because it can create such a big distance so rather instead of tunneling i chose to chair someone for sure because that will keep the team under pressure that will keep um you know stopping them from all decoding stopping them from um you know doing whatever they want uh, because someone is kiting so that's why i feel like this is very important but this strategy is also a double-edged sword as you know if you keep chairing a different person each time the other three can heal up can decode and as you can see it's already like two ciphers left so that's why it's not always a good strategy especially if all four members rotate on the chair um now it's basically three people as you can see the little red under the names but acrobat is dead on chair and journalist is also dead on chair so now i i notice the acrobat which by the way if you're a survivor don't really send the person who is dead on chair to save because the hunter can easily follow up and especially in this situation like either of them i i managed to hit they are also already dead on chair and here actually i was glad i i got the acrobat because uh, you know i had journalists still on um on the chair in photo word Oh, and it seems I was wrong. I don't know. I I can sw I swear. Like if you scroll back and and watch when Acrobat was saved, I swear the little half line disappeared the moment before a little girl saved. But anyways, it's it's fine. I just thought like I remember. I swear I remember that he was eliminated instantly. But whatever. Maybe I just remembered him not being saved. Um. Anyways, so the point is, I had two people eliminated uh, basically at the same um second here and uh, i had only two people left to go um and they were both already injured i was thinking maybe they would be like healing each other up because you know both of them have a uh, half health which is uh, basically healable um to any survivor but no it seems they focused more on decoding which is well understandable but at this point you won't really um you don't really have a chance to to win it Unless like the last person who, who kites can kite really good and kites the dungeon um, and in the meantime the other fourth member can decode. By the way guys in this week of hunter ranking I you know as when I noticed I was like, really close to top 100 on Monday I really just didn't wanna you know lose any matches uh, with Joseph so a few matches I went with different hunters sometimes Jojo was banned sometimes uh, I don't know Nightwatch was banned so um, I actually did have a match with Hermit against a team like they had like an A badge better I believe and I was like bro I'm not doing this not on uh, Leah's memory with an A badge mind's eye too um, and I was like nah I'm not doing this so I as they banned I believe Nightwatch uh, who is my like second second go-to thing main I don't know trying to um, you know figure him out still so I chose uh, to go with Hermit and I actually tied that match and I don't know I was just kind of proud because I like used him maybe once for one video I don't even know if I used him for video yet so anyways I think I will post that one and I also had um, a Jojo match which was a tie but it was such like a hard match and I just wanted to point out some stuff in that match because you know I think if I remember well that it has a doctor and I felt like maybe I could use that video to show you guys why like, you really just can't go Joseph when there's a doctor in the team. So yeah, I um, hope you will enjoy those videos. They will come hopefully maybe this week but I don't know if I can you know um, post every day of this week. Anyways, Explorer got away, and then I was just like, okay, one normal rank match, whatever, let's go to the next one. But then I see post match chat. It seems, yes, I was right, it was the journalist. Um, it's nothing really serious, just thought I would show you guys, like, the moment I get a badge, like, the day, literally, that was the day I got the badge, and I already get, like, these type of comments. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the match, looking forward to the next video. Bye-bye!